Hey guys, well, I have been kind of playing over the last few days with an idea that has been buzzing around and I actually suspect I'm probably going to be doing a world first with this and it's all about saying what can I do to improve the DJI goggles. Now I've modified mine already, you can see I've got a rapid fire for my analog view if I want and I'm kind of running these little true RC antennas. I've also got those antennas and they work great but it can also be a bit of a pig because you kind of be looking around and they're quite directional and you very easily fly out of the beam. Well I thought what can I do to improve this? Now I have done something which I think is completely new, never been done and I've married up a My Fly Dream Tracker with four 5.8 gig snipers. Now, what I did is that, you know, I approached Hugo from True RC and credit to him, he's been very supportive and he has sent me these four snipers just to test if this actually works. What I've done is I've then kind of printed a little holder and a mount and it mounted it all on here, but there's something different about these snipers. You'll notice I've got miles of cable coming out here. There's about a meter and a half of cable. And the reason for this is, um, Hugo was saying the problem you've got with 5.8 is that you get quite a lot of loss going down through the cable. You're even losing on the um, connectors over here. So the idea he hit on was let's see what we can do to keep the performance of the snipers up, which are 8 DBI snipers, and how much loss will we get if we run with one and a half meter long cables. Now he made these, he fired them over to me at no cost. so. Thank you, Hugo. Utterly brilliant service and great for supporting this. I've then made up the little mount and I mounted it all up to my Fly Dream Tracker. Now, for those of you who don't know, the My Fly Dream Tracker, completely independent product, but it's all configured to talk to my OpenTX radio and Crossfire system, which is somewhere in the room. But um, it uses a Bluetooth connection and will handle all the tracking using the Crossfire telemetry link. So what that means is that when I pop this thing on the ground, these antennas will move around and point at the aircraft at all times. Now, what will that mean in real world? It's difficult to say. Um, I don't know. What I'm hoping to do today, I modified um, my iFlight, is it the i5 HD I think it is? And I've like a little GPS on the back there. It's a little bit steampunk how it's all been put together, but it's all configured. I've got a GPS on and today what I want to do is say, does it actually track? Does the signal still work while tracking or are there any other problems that suddenly come up from it? Then if that all works, the next thing will be to plug one of my um, wings. I'm thinking probably like the Zod Talon or something similar like that. I'm going to build up an HD version of that during the course of next week. And then we'll actually see what the tracker can really do. So for now, we're very much in the early, early kind of alpha stages of checking this works. But if it does, maybe, just maybe, we'll get an utterly incredible picture on top of an utterly incredible picture. Um, I would hope, if anything, that what we'll see is better object penetration. You know, the, the truth is that you're only going to do about six miles maximum, I believe it is, with um, the DJI system. And that's got something to do with the two-way protocol. I can't claim to be an expert on it or to understand it, but all of the information I've received says there's a hard limit. So what would truly be interesting is to say, well, if we have a tracker, what's the object penetration going to be like? Low to the ground, far away, say a kilometer or two away. Will it actually work well? I'm almost certain it will work well. <laughs> um, we're just going to have to find out. So guys, hang on there. If you're interested in this sort of stuff, subscribe to the channel because there will be some videos coming up in very, very due course in the next couple of days showing how the tracker works. And then for those who are interested, I'll plug together a whole tutorial on how to do it. And maybe, maybe Hugo from TrueRC will start releasing antennas pre-packaged like this. We'll see what happens. Cheers, guys.